while thinking about writing and written communication how to write a letter itself is a kind of question and for that reason when we are talking and when we are trying to learn what exactly is formal letter we need to understand what is the format of the letter so first of all let us try to understand the different elements different aspects of the formal letter where different things are involved in it with its own structure own design first of all the letter must have a sender's detail what is that sender's details sender's details means nothing but the sender's name and address the second thing is date and there must be a date self explanatory along with the number the next aspect of the letter is complimentary close complimentary close is nothing but yours faithfully yours sincerely and something related to that it is nothing but your ending of the letter where you sign and put your designation under the signature to mention that to make it clear to the reader that you are writing and you are responsible for what you have conveyed through your letter it is nothing but official uh, acceptance of the writer that i am doing it i am sending this message and this is my official signature and for that reason there is a complimentary close in every letter which is with this many times with you is faithfully sometimes you are sincerely when you are not known to the person. so letter is nothing but a written message conveyed from one person to another person generally via post and it is nothing but a communication in written form this is very simple way to understand about letter this is very simple concept of understanding what is letter and when we talk about the types there are two types of letters one is formal letter and the other is informal letter when we talk about formal letters you will come to know that business or professional purpose communication is nothing but formal letter a simple language is always there in formal communication the language of formal communication or formal letters is nothing but a formal language but when we talk about informal letter impersonal communication is not there there is a personal while thinking about the format first of all there is a sender's details and it includes name and address of the sender second there must be a date the third thing is receiver's details it means that to whom you want to send a letter his name and address must be there then after there comes a salutation which includes dear sir dear madam honorable sir respected sir and something like that and then after there comes a subject which is nothing but the answer of the question what the letter is about and then after there comes body of the letter where actual message of the letter comes while thinking about the format first of all there is a sender's details and it includes name and address of the sender second there must be a date the third thing is receiver's details it means that to whom you want to send a letter his name and address must be there then after there comes a salutation which includes dear sir dear madam honorable sir respected sir and something like that and then after there comes a subject which is nothing but the answer of the question what the letter is about and then after there comes body of the letter where actual message of the letter comes fifth is subject sixth body seventh complimentary close and the eighth is name and designation so every letter must have a format and every formal letter which consists of all these aspect that is reach in format 
and complete in its design we can say so to say in simple manners sender's detail date receiver's detail salutation subject body complimentary close and name and designation after signature is basic requirement of every format of the letter and that is to be considered for all these things when we talk about the body then you will also come to know that body is nothing but actual masses in the letter but that also can be divided into three different parts one is introduction that is purpose of the letter the main content of the letter that is nothing but all detailed information about the letter or the message that you want to convey and the last section the last paragraph of the letter is nothing but summary which summarizes information regarding the letter so it means that the body of the letter must contain introduction main content and summary these are three parts of the formal letter body so friends at the end of this online webinar which is international and which was organized by the organization international studies and research organization isro which has organized this conference particularly the online webinar for 3 days i am very happy to inform you that near about 25 participants from different countries participated in this webinar and along with their participation they have presented their views and opinion regarding various formal communication and writing letters and many more communication strategies in this so we are very happy i am thankful to all the students all the participants who participated in it and thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to talk about formal letters here in this online webinar which is international thank you thank you very much yes the next question is by sunitha from south india yes oh she is writing and asking question about what type of letter is loud don't you have any experience <laughs> it's very interesting to know that love letter is informal letter and the language of love letter is nothing but informal and emotional letter it does not come in formal letters try to understand that is not like that we are trying to learn and understand what formal letter is so the language of love letter is emotional and the tone is very passionate yes here is a question from john and he is from philippines uh what's the question yes the question is yeah the question is about he is writing an application and asking me a question and the question is whether he can write dear in application letter john uh it's difficult and not acceptable to write dear sir in the letter if you are writing to somebody for your uh, service or some another job purposes then it is expected that you should write respect sir or honorable sir instead of dear it is more respectful and more considerable for all this dear